Hey guys, we have an HP OfficeJet 4620 printer, which is um, giving us uh, an error on the screen. The error says there is a problem with the printer or ink system. So this is a common problem on HP printers. Um, we're going to try to fix it on this HP OfficeJet 4620. The first thing we want to do is open up the printer while the printer is on, as if we're changing ink cartridges and uh, remove the ink cartridges from the printer. Um, sometimes just that uh, would uh, resolve the problem. It's less likely, but sometimes it does that. Um, the reason for it is sometimes you may have installed a cartridge that doesn't really belong in the printer for whatever reason. Um, with these particular models, um, the 564 cartridges that HP made um, there's two different generation of printers that use those, so it's it's very complicated why they did this, but this is um, a problem. But in that case, it would also give you a different message that it's the wrong um, generation print uh, ink cartridge. So we still have the system error. Um, so let's just go ahead. Most likely, what it's indicating is either there's something in this area or there's something wrong with the uh, print head. So we're just gonna look into that and see if we can resolve this on this printer. So we have the printer open. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna unplug it from the wall or from the back of the printer. So the printer just turns off without turning the ink cartridge back to where it's supposed to be. Now let's just manually, very slowly, um, move this carriage to the left and look inside here. Um, you can see some ink uh, gunk built up right there, so that could be an issue. Um, in this case, it's not really that much, honestly. So what you're going to do is just manually um, remove any of the ink gunk that could be in the way. Like I said, in my case, it shouldn't be the problem, the cause of the problem here, but uh, still uh, remove it sometimes. Why? Uh, when I see a problem, that's when it, you're going to see basically like a... A rock build up right there that is um, harder than just um, what I took. It's more like a paste uh, in this case. So let me see here. Sorry about that. So yeah, it's more of a paste kind of on it on in this case. But um, clean that area very gently, um, carefully. I mean. Because there's a strip in the back, that one up top there, that you do not want to put any ink on. So just be careful with that. So after you've done this part, um, if you actually see that that could be the problem uh, and you cleaned it up, just go ahead and turn the printer on and see if the error went away. So in my case, uh, just removing the cartridges, cleaning that area, um, and putting the cartridges back in resolved the issue. But I'm thinking those ink cartridges are pretty low on ink, so I'm just going to replace them and uh, to avoid getting the, uh, the error again. So sometimes it's just as simple as that, just removing cartridges, uh, cleaning that area, or just removing cartridges, unplugging the printer from the back, kind of resetting it in a way. Um, and uh, having the printer to accept the, print, uh, the ink cartridges and uh, get, get rid of that error. Um, so you can see that there is really no ink, uh, barely any ink, and only what, yellow, some, um, a little bit of black coming through, and that's it. So I definitely need to clean the print head or replace the ink cartridges or just both. Um, definitely replace ink cartridges. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to post another video on how to do a reset on this printer. Just a simple factory reset. Um, so check that out. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, if you are still having problems, please give a uh, comment in the section below and I'll try to find a solution for you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.